toolbar is a list of icons on the right-hand side of the display. It gives the access to the auxiliary windows management, system setting, and it is also used for a quick access to the controller tools, lists and charts. In addition to the main situation display, there is a number of supplementary situation windows available in the system. Auxiliary situation window allows to display any necessary part of the airspace in an additional window. It might be used not only for situation monitoring, but also to perform the same operations which are also available from the main situation display. All information and actions performed within the main and auxiliary windows are fully synchronized. Auxiliary situation window is adjustable in terms of size and scale selection. It has its own small toolbar with essential settings available, such as Prediction vector settings Surveillance source settings Zone settings Label settings There is an option to set ground view for the main situation display and air mode for the auxiliary one and vice versa. It allows to operate and control movement at the aerodrome and monitor the traffic flow in the approach or area control zone. Vertical track projection window is used to depict a selected airway or aircraft's planned and actual flight trajectory in a vertical profile. With the help of this window, a controller can evaluate the pilot's seed star scheme following and compare the real flight trajectory with the planned one or perform an initial analysis of a potential conflict. Landing window is evaluating data from a precision radar and allows to control an aircraft final approach in terms of heading and glide path and monitor deviation from the established angle and heading and final. The total amount of auxiliary windows required is a matter of agreement for each project as the system has no limitations concerning that function. The measuring tool is designed to provide the user with the information about mouse cusp position, geographical coordinates, azimuth, and distance from the base aerodrome, and calculate the distance between objects and height distance difference if applied. There is an option to set up notifications about changes in distance or height parameters. Distance or high data will be highlighted in yellow in case if the actual distance or high difference is less than the selected one. Prediction speed vector is used to calculate an aircraft position in a defined period of time. Surveillance source icon is used to open the window for surveillance source control. Flight zone settings are designated for airspace elements displaying adjustment. Label settings button opens the window with a label setting. Warning button opens the window with alerts and warning information. Restricted Areas button opens the window with restricted and prohibited zones management. Flight Plan button is for a daily plan displaying. Auxiliary Windows button is to give a controller the access to additional lists and information windows.
Supervisor window is for System Parameters Adjustment. User-defined objects allow to create any type of object or zone right from the controller's working position, which will be visible either only for the creator or for all the personnel. Presets window is for preferable settings saving and loading. Each operator can save his own data in terms of scaling, label presentation, zone charts and apply them at any working position of the system. Calculator Search button for object searching, points or aircraft. A-man, D-man button for A-man, D-man window displaying. Restart button.